Greetings to you, my trading friends. It is Tuesday, January 5th, 2020, and your cherry bomb trade is in for today. I should apologize. This video is definitely going to be released before, nope, after, <laughs> after the normal time of 9.30 Eastern Standard Time or when the markets open here. Uh, yeah, I got a little bit busy this morning. Wasn't able to handle parental duties and getting the video done in time. So I had to wait till after work. So here we are, we're looking at Apple, we're looking at a long call vertical spread, a debit spread. Uh, I know I said in yesterday's video, which we uh, put it on US Steel yesterday, go ahead and check that one out if you want. That was a pretty good trade there. Um, and so, you know, that I, I'm tired of the debit spreads, but you know, hey, you do them when you got to do them. And, and with this one, I don't mind so much because at least there's there's less at risk with this one, what I feel than when I do a uh, a debit, no, sorry, a credit spread with Apple. I feel like Apple stings me just about every time. <laughs> I could be wrong, but you know, in this case, I'll take a 50-50 shot. Now I did miss out because I didn't get this trade on. Apple has come up some, so I missed a little bit of the ride, but you know, okay, there we are. So why don't we hop on into this platform and, and we'll take a look at this trade together and we'll see what you think, all right? So let's do that. Here we are inside of Thinkorswim, because that's what we do here in this channel. We use Thinkorswim's paper money or simulated trading platform to practice our skills, practice our mechanics, get all the learning without all that risk. So if you haven't yet signed up with Tasty Trade, go on down below. There's a bit.ly link there. It's not a link that you sign up for my webpage or anything like that. I'm not harvesting your email in any way. I'm just sending you over to Tasty Trade to sign up for their email um, that they send out five days a week. Four of those days have trades, and that's what we're putting on, plus some of our own sometimes, right? Uh, so we invite you to join us. If you like what you see by the end of this video, would you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell? Because these trades are time sensitive, <laughs> as we know. You gotta get them in, in them when we should get in them, right? So with that said, let's get this trade analyzed, shall we? We're looking at the analyze tab here. We're gonna click on add simulated trade, type in Apple, and I'm gonna hit uh, my little keyboard shortcut here that makes my mouse actually appear. Here we go, we're gonna click up here, we're gonna click Apple, type AAPL, and then we're gonna make sure we open up the February monthly options chain, which as of today is 45 days to expiration. And we're gonna come down here and we're gonna look at buying, since we're doing a debit call spread, we're gonna be at the money, we're gonna buy the one that's in the money for $7 and 50 something cents. We'll see what happens there with that mid price there. It's a little wider than you'd expect, right? But plenty of open interest, You would you would think, it would be, uh, that'd be tighter. But anyway, it's got four, li uh, you know, uh, four drops of liquidity, so it's super liquid. Uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and hold the control key, and I'm gonna click on the ask for the 135. So that builds us a debit spread here, where we're gonna pay $2.23. Okay, so that means we're, we're lis risking, we're paying less than $2.50, means we can have, uh, you know, more profit than we can have loss which means our probabilities will be lower than we probably would want them to be and all those sorts of probability in there. So let's, with that said, head over to this risk profile here, right up here. And we're gonna, first things first, as always, I like to make sure the date is set properly. So I'll go over here and look at this turquoise 220. I'm gonna click this calendar. I'm gonna go to February, click on the 20th. Now I'm gonna drag this over so that I see a little bit of dark gray. And I'm trying to make sure I go a little slower. I had some, one of my uh, new uh, newest comments asked if I'd go a little slower. And I know those of you that come here just for the trade, you get what you get. And as soon as you get it, you dip out and that's fine. I'm here to make content for all types of, of uh, traders, right? So I'm gonna go, now that I got this, so I have a little bit of dark showing, I'm gonna drag on the X axis so I can see a little bit of dark on the right side. So now I can see my, the market's expected move in this time frame of 45 days. And I'm gonna go ahead and set my price slices to break even at expiration. Now I know that we're looking at a 55, almost 56% probability that Apple's gonna end up going, you know, being lower than we are right now, right? So going below this than we are right now, ending up in the next 45 days on or to the left of this gold price slice. And hey, if you were to just buy the, the call, 
and be like a lot of people investing in options, right? Your probabilities would be even lower. You'd probably be in the 20s to 30s percent probability on that. So here we are getting closer to 50-50, but we have a P50 that's better than that. And a P50 is a metric that comes from uh, Tastyworks. And I'm gonna quickly pull that up. I know it's a little small, but it's right here. We're looking at a P50 of 63%, right? So, yeah, okay, thanks. <laughs> oh, good, I, so I got a, my calendar is trying to remind me that I have an appointment at, five, at four o'clock. All right, that's not exciting news, is it? So anyway, uh, we're back over here and we have a P50 of 63%. That means that we are looking at a 63% probability of us making half of our max profit. That's nice, I like those numbers because half of my max profit here is $141. I'm okay with that. I feel like betting against Apple. You know, betting that Apple's gonna go down. It would have been great if you did it here, but it doesn't do it for long, right? Yeah, it has moves down, but it comes back up, down and back up. So I'm, I'm thinking this is another down and back up for Apple. What do you think? All right, I'm gonna come down here and hope that uh, I can get this video done. Uh, so I'm gonna right click this trade, choose confirm and send. Review once again our max loss of $2.23 and our max profit of $2.77. This is a trade I'm willing to put on and heck, it might even fill. So let's see what happens. So it's over here in the working order. It's saying that the mark is $2.20 and that I'm willing to pay $2.23 for it. So I'm surprised it hasn't filled. I could, in order to get it filled, you know, if I go, what the heck, see if I can get it filled on camera here. Let's go cancel and replace and I'm willing to pay 224 on this one. So let's see what happens. If that one penny, uh, let's go two pennies. Let's see what happens. Confirm and send, send. And it failed, cool. All right, so we got that, the ding on camera. Awesome stuff. We don't normally get that, so let's enjoy it. Fantastic, already lost $2.50. <laughs> All right, everybody, if you made it this far into my videos, thank you so much. Here's your thumbs up. You deserve that thumbs up. And if you feel that I've earned that thumbs up, you can either you know hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you already are one of my subscribers, besides being totally awesome, you deserve two thumbs up. Here's one special for you. Okay, so you guys can hit the thumbs up for me since you've already subscribed. Uh, I look forward to seeing you in tomorrow's Cherry Bomb Trade. I do intend to get up early enough to get that video done before my little kiddos wake up. And uh, yeah, until then, happy trading.